Hey you lovely people welcome to our vlog in today's vlog we are going to show you all our renovated St Rock church in Tolekanto Veli The church looks so beautiful We have a lovely grotto of Our Lady of Fatima opposite the church entrance and beside it we have our Goan Saint St Joseph Vase The peak of the church before renovation This was the church interior before. Have fond memories in this church and one of them is when I received holy communion. Father Martin Gomes, one of my favorite parish priest. The facade of St. Rock Church Tolekanto Veli collapsed on October 6, 2020 as it was about to be reconstructed. St. Rock Church was a chapel before and it was built in the year 1883 later it was turned into a church in the year 1955 come on guys let's see the church interior this is the nave the central and principal part of the church extending from the entrance to the transverse aisles and then to the area around the altar on the main altar we have a patron saint saint rock and these are side or by altars they have preserved the interiors with slight changes this is how the right side of the nave looks Sacristy is a place where the priest prepares for service and where vestments and articles of worship are kept. Father Telesh Fernandez was the first parish priest of St Rock Church Tolekanto in the year 1955. Heard a lot of stories about him, his work and his contribution to this parish from my parents and also from Father Alan Tavares. So Father Alan Tavares has rehabilitated the space. like father telesh's old office is now converted to a blessed sacrament uh, chapel the room where father telesh used to live is converted to inner sacristy and the old dormitory is converted to a space for the youth of tolekanto This is how the left side of the nave looks.
This is the space for the choir on top. And this is the view of the nave from top. Awesome paintings. A wonderful painting in memory of Father Telesh Fernandez. They have a lovely campus, the courtyard, and they have added a few value additions to the courtyard and that is the meditation maze. Here we have the 14 stations of the cross and each station has a niche and if you, you can go and sit in the niche and there's a speaker so if you switch on the button you can uh, listen to the pre-recorded narration so anytime you feel like you all can come visit the church and listen to the pre-recorded narration also the children have got together and they have planted some medicinal herbs around They have built a lovely grotto of Mother Mary here. They also have a well in the campus. Guys, you all should definitely visit this church and see how they have preserved the acoustic ambience.
St. Rock Church was inaugurated on 21st May 2022. A big thank you to all our villages for their constant help and support. May the Almighty bless us all. I would also like to thank Father Luis Coutinho for constantly praying, especially during the COVID time and helping us to keep our hope alive. And special thanks to Father Alan Tavares, our Gounsa Bao, without which this wouldn't be possible. May God bless you and grant you prosperity wherever you go. Wishing you loads of luck for the future. I also welcome Father Matthew Rodriguez to our parish. May God bless him and help him to carry on the good work of our Lord. Thank you for watching our blog. God bless.